This summer, we've already felt the impacts of more extreme weather from a warming climate. Portland and Seattle hitting their all-time record highs. Downtown Sacramento just one degree shy of tying their record. With higher cooling demand straining the electric grid and rising electric bills, we're verifying if cities warm more than surrounding areas. Our source is Andrew Pershing, Director of Climate Science at Climate Central, a nonprofit organization that analyzes and reports on climate science. Neighborhoods in highly developed cities can be 15 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than nearby tree-lined communities. This is called the urban heat island effect. The researchers at Climate Central developed a new ranking system for warming in metro areas based on data from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. That allows us to go and produce a score for, uh, in this case, 158 cities around the country. Uh, and essentially what we're doing is saying how much hotter each of these cities are relative to a hypothetical area that, that didn't have hu a whole bunch of humans living in it. Sacramento ranking in the top 20 cities affected by this temperature difference, warming more than seven degrees over surrounding areas. To get this number, Climate Central researchers looked at albedo, how much heat a surface absorbs. Darker colors absorb more, light colors less. Greenery, is there a lot of shade? Population density, people add heat. During a heat wave, air conditioning from buildings can add 20% more heat to the outside air. Building height, average width of streets, and irregularity of the city. Taller and oddly shaped buildings disrupt airflow. Breaking this all down, Andrew says, what we're really talking about is the human-induced microclimate. What have we done to change those temperatures? Parking lot, whether it's, you know, in downtown, uh, you know, downtown Sacramento or whether it's out in, you know, the suburbs or in even a rural area is going to be hot uh, regardless of where it is just because it's, you know, a big piece of blacktop. So we can verify, yes, downtown areas get hotter than their outlying areas.